In order to complete the deflection check on the Cessna 172 elevator, we first need to gather some information from the manufacturer's maintenance manual. We will need to know what the minimum and maximum up and down travel is on our elevator, and most importantly, we will need to know what our neutral or zero position is. This neutral position is considered the most important position because if it is set incorrectly, your up and down travel will also be measured and adjusted incorrectly. This may lead to your aircraft flying outside of the manufacturer's specified limits. According to the Cessna 172 maintenance manual, the elevator is in a neutral position when it is streamlined with the horizontal stabilizer. This is where we will reset our digital protractor to zero. The up limit is 28 degrees plus one minus zero. And our down limit is 23 degrees plus one minus zero. Let's begin the process of checking our elevator deflections starting on the next slide. It is a very common mistake to zero a digital protractor on the horizontal stabilizer. Doing this will lead to adjusting the elevator to the incorrect neutral position. Other incorrect ways to zero a protractor include using a flat surface or the ground. These are all wrong procedures and should never be done to zero a protractor when checking flight control travel deflections. In this slide, you will notice our elevator adjusted to the streamlined position with the horizontal stabilizer. This is considered the neutral or zero position as per the maintenance manual. The digital protractor has been set to zero and we have correctly set our starting point to check our elevator travel limits. Our next step will be to go fully up and then fully down while recording both maximum travels. Here we see our elevator in the full up position. Our protractor reads 28.3 degrees, and our maintenance manual limits give us a range of 28 plus 1 minus 0 degrees. In this example, our elevator is well within the manufacturer's limits, and we do not require any further adjustments for our up travel limit. Here we see our elevator in the full down position. Our protractor reads 24.8 degrees and our maintenance manual limits give us a range of 23 plus 1 minus 0 degrees. In this example, our elevator down travel is 0.8 degrees out of limits. This means our elevator is traveling too far down and we will need to make adjustments so that it falls between the limits given from the maintenance manual. There can be many reasons as to why this down travel is out of limits. Please refer to the section in the maintenance manual that tells you how to adjust elevator travel limits. The digital protractor is a very versatile tool that is used in many applications in many different industries. However, in the aviation industry, it is quite strict on the use of measuring devices. The protractor you use on your aircraft will have to be calibrated once per year by a professional calibration service. Please ensure your protractor has a calibration sticker and that it is valid.